3D Coat unleashes the power of voxel technology for you, allowing you to create objects from nothing and sculpting as you would with clay, and without the problems you would normally bump into with polygonal sculpting methods. You can quickly and easily sculpt organic objects in less time, such as this dwarven head. I will demonstrate here one of the differences between voxel and polygonal sculpting. You may notice as I pull out the voxels, there is no stretching or distortion, and I can continue to do this as long as I need, or until I run out of memory. To further illustrate the point here, I have an image. On the left you can see a traditional polygonal sculpting technique. The little spires coming off the sphere, as you can see, are stretched and distorted. And you can't take th these areas much further than they already are. Now on the right side you can see that you can just keep going and going without too much worry about distortion or stretching. Here is a small selection of work created with 3D Coat. More work can be viewed at 3d-coat.com. You can sculpt hard surface objects using Boolean operations, much like these primitive shapes, but any shape you sculpt or import can also be used. Spline curves can be used to sculpt objects such as rope and tentacles, or you can import a polygonal object to be used, such as an OBJ or LWO file, for example. You can also perform viewport-based additions and subtractions, as in this operation right here. Another great aspect of 3D Coat is that you can import polygonal meshes into voxels and continue to detail there, or simply use the mesh as a painting tool to help you sculpt. This allows you to have a library of objects which you can slap right on to any other object on a whim. So let's recap. You can sculpt organic objects quickly and easily. You can sculpt hard surface objects using splines, booleans, or a number of other tools. And you can import external polygonal meshes. These are but a few of the tools and abilities that you'll find in 3D Coat.